What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Pack Bros channel. I'm Rob. I'm Chris. And today we're breaking a box of 2021-2022 stature. Chris, what did this cost us? It's a good question. I don't even know. Good talk. All right, here we go. We're going to dive right into it. Uh, eight premium cards. It were, just a quick reminder, this is 2021-2022 product, uh, not 22-23. They're trying to get through all this backlog in time for Bedard's release. There's obviously yeah. all kinds of different uh, products in here from photo variants to patch autos. You name it. Uh, some pretty nasty patches I've seen coming to this product so far. 170 was the cost. One Really? Not bad at all. Uh, it's a one-pack product. We're hoping for some thickness. This does not look very thick, but that's okay. Now, you said you've seen some really good pulls from this. I have. I saw one on Instagram where they got absolutely rocked. All right, well. So, I'm hoping you're right and I'm wrong. Me too. Wouldn't be the first time we get rocked. There's nothing thick in it. I will tell you that right now. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah. I guess we're hoping for autographs then. Autos or, uh, you know, a nice, uh, nice parallel. I actually don't mind what I think I saw on the back. All right. Well, that's some serious ASMR going on for you guys here. Okay. I guess, you know what? I don't really need the decoy. I'm just going to go like this. Yeah. We have a Joel Erickson Eck base off the top. What a start. That is not numbered. Mike Bossy base. Not numbered. Rookie of Riley Damiani. Numbered out of 399. Ooh, a rookie excellence. I think this is a pink, some sort of pink parallel of Philip Tomasino. Not a bad hit. That's numbered out of 75. Nice, nice. A green rookie excellence of Matthew Phillips, numbered out of 125. A blue Braden Point base with a horrendous printing problem on top. So here we go again. I'm going to need oh, to send gosh. me that receipt. Okay, I see uh, that. Numbered at a 35. That sucks. That's awful. Can you double check those to see if anything... Yeah. Yeah, I got some really bad printing issues up there. They've looked fine so far. Yeah, I, I, was, literally up, about to, I was literally about to talk about the quality. An, ooh! Ooh! Okay. Ooh! A rookie auto of Grigory Denisenko... Numbered to 35. Color match. Horrendous auto. <laughs> it's really terrible. He just kind of scribbled it. But out of 35 is nice. He was just on a time crunch that day. And our last hit, it looks like another rookie, a horizontal rookie, of nice. Trevor Zegris. No number. No number. What, why is it? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's just an insert. It looks, maybe it's a photo bear. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay, so there you have it. Uh, it's a quick break, obviously. I didn't see any other uh, quality issues similar to that one on these. Yeah. Maybe if we take a closer look, there could be possibly some surface stuff. But other than this card, they all look pretty good. Yeah, I I'd say that was an okay box. We got one, two, three, four, four numbered rookies, a Zegris hit here on the Excellence. The Braden, actually, the Braden point even has manufacturing lines in it. So this is for sure going back. Uh, hopefully they can give me something there. I think we got an okay box. Um, I know Denisenko isn't a massive hit, but I, I don't think it's a too terrible of a hit either. Um, and it's low numbered, so that's kind of nice there. It would have been nice to grab a big patch, but uh, yeah, pretty quick break. No need for a, a quick hits or anything like that. Uh, nice product. Uh, modest price point, I guess, at 170 I'm curious to see what the Denisenko goes for. Point at a 35 actually probably holds a little bit of weight too. Um, yeah, I think the key to this product is probably hitting the right names and the right numerations. Yep. Uh, we had one, two, three, four, five serial numbered cards out of eight. Uh, I don't know if this is a parallel or... It was on the back. I feel like usually the cards on the back mean something. It's got to be some kind of parallel. Different. So I don't know if it's like an alternate image or... This says Rookie Excellence 1 and 2. I don't know. Anyways. Um, but there you have it. There's a pack of stature. A quick, quick break there. But uh, fun and a nice looking product other than they didn't know how to print the uh, this part on the Braden Point. So... Here we go again, upper deck. Um, thoughts? That was all right. It would have been nice to see a, a nice thick card in there. Mm. Um, if you're not seeing that thick card when you open the pack, you're hoping for a nice auto. I think we got a pretty decent one. I think we did okay. Overall, quality was pretty good on the rest of the cards, except for the obvious Braden Point. Um, at around 170, I think that's a bit risky, to be honest, for this product. Um, if I had to take a wild guess, I would say this is probably average, maybe a little bit below especially with a damaged card coming in it. So keep that in mind if you're going to purchase one. Um, in my opinion, I would probably wait for this to drop down a little bit in price just to reduce your risk. I wouldn't necessarily buy it right now. 170 is a little bit up there, especially if you're risking 
uh, a high quality product with an issue such as the Braden Point. So I would probably wait until this goes for around 140, 150 before I buy it. Um, but of course on this channel, we like to usually buy products when they come out on release or a little bit after. And uh, this is just the risk that you gotta take. If you're willing to do it, go for it. If not, I would say you're probably better off around the 140, 150 range. Yeah, that's fair. Um, but yeah, there you have it. Please do let us know below if you've had any wicked pulls. Let me know if this is pretty common for stature. I know there's some products that have been known. I haven't watched a lot of stature being bro uh, broken. So please let me know if these printing errors are very, fairly common. Um, you know, make me feel a little bit better that I'm not the only one because I feel like every freaking every other box that we open, there's always a damaged card in it, and it's starting to feel like it's a vendetta against us. Uh, but anyways, uh, that's all the pack we have for today. We're the pack bros, and we're the packs. We're at a time. See you later.